Yo guys, welcome back in 2023. My name is Examiner, welcome. Um, we are having, uh, I mean, we have some news. 2022, 2022 is over. So 2023 celebration, five tour envy guaranteed step up summon and ticket exchange resolute night is coming. Uh, you can exchange a ticket resolute night, so a new vision card. And as far as I know, it's boost attack and magic by 500 and damage limit for various chains by 50. So that's pretty good. Problem is it's only limited to one per player. And depending on your Lapis, okay, I did get some Lapis again because I got really lucky on Ayaka's banner and Cloud. Didn't summon for them at all, but it just gave, get them for free, just with a ticket and everything. So really lucky on that, but 2023 is lots of stuff coming, so uh, I'm not gonna summon for a while. Like, Crimson Rain uh, is also coming. I think that's his name, yeah. Uh, and we also have like some collaborations coming, and like uh, maybe Chow gets a, like a brand new New Vision step up. I don't know. So stay tuned for more updates. But for now, we are having uh, an update in 2023. So, Shu Yu is a limited time unit and is only available from this summon banner. So it doesn't say anything where to get him. But Shu Yu is guaranteed on step 6. Fortunately for me, I already have like X1 I believe. Okay, I'm moving on. Um, you can obtain bonuses. On each step. Super Trust Moodle Exchange Ticket times 25. Step 2, same. VIP Coin times 200. Master's Crown times 1. VIP Coin 300 and 500 on step 5. And step 6, Exchange Ticket the Resolute Knight times 1. VIP Coin times 1. So if you guys want this vision card, definitely go for it. If not, you skip this entire banner. Okay, so you get the ticket exchange. Uh, you can exchange it for the Resolute of Night. And of course, we get a 23, so 2023, and fancy free daily free 10 summon. Well, if you did get an, a lot of NV units like me, uh, I did get Wilk almost X3. I need like a couple of fragment dungeons, I think, and Wilk will be X3, and his vision cards is insane. So, I uh, really am glad with that one. Uh, so it's, it is continuing for two weeks now, only it's now not 22, it's 23. So hoping you guys get some better luck this time on this free summon. It's, I mean 3% rate for NV units, but I'm still missing one very key unit I still need, and that's Chizuru. She still didn't drop in 2022, so I'm hoping to get her in 2023. And of course, Dark Vision is returning as well. So log in daily for 40 days, receive Dark Vision's uh, ticket each day, end of the maintenance. You can get these units in the pool. So Charlotte, Dark Fina and Sol, Luna Freya, and all those old other Neo Vision units if you miss them. You can get them for free. Uh, players will receive 5 star trust moogle all 10% once with each summon. So don't expect that it always becomes new vision. Like it's really low chance of course. But sometimes you can get lucky. I barely get any luck from this at all. Like I'm, I'm all over the 5 star trust moogles, you know? So <laughs> the 50 50%. So, the Resolute Knight, what else does he do? Obtain an exchange ticket Resolute Knight on step 6 of the 2023 celebration. Yes, we know that. Uh, level 1 HP plus 2023. Oh my god. <laughs> they actually added the amount of HP for the year. So, attack and magic plus 130 and level 1 HP plus 2023. The year 2023. Beautiful, beautiful, Gumi. Beautiful. Okay, 
Fishing card with purple lightning. Boost attack and magic by 500. Damage limit for various change by 50. We all know that. Now the others. One use every 10 turns. Add ice element to the physical attack and boost ice damage of LP abilities. Magic for caster. And activate the vision card. Resolute mind to next turn. Determination in daybreak. Boost equip with attack and magic by 200. And a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Requirements FAB units. Uh, this depends. This, this is for uh, Charlotte mainly, you know. So if you do did, did get Charlotte, definitely equip her with this card. Really good, nice card, by the way. Last well on it. <laughs> uh, there's also an update to the Steel Castle coin exchange. We get the Jester's Claymore Plus, the Mana Willow Plus, and the Wandering Knights Lance Plus. It now boosts attack by 60, boosts equip attack by 50, and when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Very nice, very nice. Well, as you were guessing, Shu Yu is getting a revamp. That's why the global upgrade, you know, global original. Added physical magic damage boost against demons to base form limit burst. Change damage type for Brave Shift limit burst to morale based damage. Change damage type to morale based damage for some abilities. Higher damage against demons, dragons, beasts, reapers, fairies, avian monsters. And can now add water element to the physical attack. Ooh. And boost water damage of LP abilities magic for one ally. X2 ability only. Higher boost to HP MP magic from certain abilities can now reduce the resistance to rods for enemies. Oh, they did not overreact here, man. This is insane. Super Trust Marker. Super Trust Master, sorry. Uh, magic plus 183, spirit plus 140. That was before. Now it's. 200 and spirit plus 180. That's damn. Okay, glad I still got her though. But for people who don't got her, she will be probably needed for the next class of wills. And we also got the Chinese here coming. So prepare yourself for that. Maybe Chow returns with a global upgrade as well. We don't know. So keep that in mind before summoning on every other banner out there. We got the biggest banners, they, they are disappearing for now, like Ayaka, Cloud and everything. Those are big banners, good units, really good units. Limited time units are the best to summon on, just saying, for 2023. Or premium units are the best to summon on. And of course, Class of Wills, morale based units and everything, so keep that in mind. So, she also boosts magic and spirit by 1000, and boosts equipment with magic and spirit by 100% when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Her X2 ability fill only will be cost at the beginning of battle, we all know that. But after, she deals morale based water magic damage two times to all enemies and boosts water resistance for custom. Very nice, very nice. Show you, it's gonna be insane again. So, we also get a very nice update for X Coins Chains. Black Mage Golbus, one of the best units free to play, is in the shop. Blue Sky Bell from, I still need like one more copy, and more. So they don't they don't say any other units, they just say Blue Sky Bell from and Black Mage Golbus. So everyone knows those two units are gonna be insane. The others, maybe not so far. So as always, relics, burst pots, stuff pots, magic pot, power pots, smart pots, and shield pots, and soul pots. So, just keep these X, X coins um, from the right units. If you don't have blue black mage goblins X3, make sure to get them to X3. Oh, they updated to the trust coin exchange. Now, this is insane. If you guys have a lot of trust coins, um, you can now get an Envy X ticket 5 star guaranteed. NV 5 star Neo Vision ticket for 15,000. Okay, the cost did increase, but it is there. We also get Gill Snapper Towers, King Metal Mini Tower, max level, Brave Insignia Joint Force, they're still the same. Star Quartz, 25,000. Omni Prism, 25,000. 5 star Select Summon ticket. So that's, that's insane. They actually. Add, um, that's the best you can get. The Super Trust Mogul Exchange Ticket, or the NVX Ticket 5 Star NV, or the Omni Prism in this case. But it is, it costs a lot. Omni Prism Star Quartz are both 25,000 cost, so make sure to grab enough Trust Coins for that. I'll be busy getting a lot of Trust Coins for this. 
also a new ticket exchange for the Perma Vision Card Select ticket. I play the leading man who else, Treaty with the Old Gods, A New Sky, Summertime Savior, Storming the Well, Kimarina Pass, Offerings for the Maiden, I or P, it's Showtime Girls, and Divine Judgment. So those are gonna be for the Fish Card Select ticket. And another update, you can now exchange for store cards, uh, three store units. So like Guy and all the others that received like an NV Awakening, you can get them with store cards. So that's insane if you like miss a couple of units for that. Store card exchange also four star units. And time limited units. Time limited units is the best they could do, actually. If you guys don't have those limited units, you can get them for star cards. Gumi! You did not react over the live stream. You did you did everything what we hoped you were gonna do. So 2023 might be one of the best years for Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, actually. So so yeah, that's about the update. Uh, you guys can get the fishing cards uh, for Shu Yu, and you can get Shu Yu, of course, herself. So yeah, and also a Master's Crown and other awards are in that step up. So be advised, if you do have Shu Yu, and you have a, at least X2, don't summon on this banner. If you want just a card, go for it. But if you're not a big fan of Shu Yu or any other unit regarding that, um, there are gonna be some bigger banners out there. So make sure to do that. Also guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and I will catch you guys later. Best of wishes to everyone and till next week. Bye guys.